So a Monday pick is jumper worthy today. It's a bit fresh, but coffee is an essential. First thing I do is make a coffee. I usually do this about 5 a.m. Today, it's a little bit different. I got up and listed at 5 a.m. Absolutely threw me off. I don't like change. I absolutely hate change. So coffee time, black, but nothing. Once you go black, you never go back. I'm telling you, best way to have a coffee. These lasted all but a few minutes. Uh, they're all sold except the Mighty Ducks, which is probably priced a bit high. But uh, <laughs> all of these sold within a day of being listed. That one's actually not paid for yet, the one that's not working, but uh, these ones are all going out. So shout out to Wayne's Games on Instagram. He's uh, snapped that one up off me. Somebody grabbed those two as a bundle and that's off to the States. That had a lot of interest. Apparently, uh, quite a few people said they hadn't seen it before, so. So not much in the way of video games going out this weekend. It's actually a bit slower. Uh, that was the banger of the lot. There's 50 bucks in that. Shout out to Pete. Pete got me onto the disc. And then I ended up buying the case and the manual for, I think, six bucks on eBay to complete it, and it sold that day. So the rest are just cheapies. Some individual sales. This is a little bundle for 20 bucks of just cheap shit. Um, I would have gotten a lot for next to nothing and these are all cheap games that being the cheapest thing I've got nine dollars shipped for that so that'll be sent on track so um, nothing crazy going on video games this week but uh, these these definitely uh, cream of the crop though oh, these two having a sook they've been sold they're in pretty poor condition and I still got 60 plus ship this one's a bit of a flop uh, where is it some random shit in this box that's for sure um these were actually on clearance at target for one dollar so i thought i'd test the waters i thought i could get 25 plus ship on that uh, that's what it was looking like at the time it sat for about two months and i've got 10 bucks plus ship so um not a lot of profit in that wouldn't do it again but when i seen that there little bluetooth speaker for a dollar I just, I had to get it. I had to at least try, but. So this next one's uh, a little bit lost. I didn't really skew it real well from the move. But when I find it, big shout out to Kim, who's a local reseller from around the corner. She reached out to me on Instagram a while ago, sold me off a bunch of stuff, and this is the last of it. And they're some of the Marvel mashes, but can't find it. So we've got Dr. Doom, Electro, and Falcon. I bagged these up individually because some of their bits fell off. These ticked along all right. Not great money, but, you know, you're getting your 15 bucks or whatever. I took an offer. It was a little bulk purchase, so they've picked up the three. Philosopher's Stone in really good condition, hardcover. It's going over the States. And it's Cabbage Patch. I got air for five bucks, I think. It was, like, last week. And she was only listed for about... Oh, half a day, so it's a 2009, it's not an old one. They, I usually get 50 for these, but I just took a offer lower because it was profit and it's going. Profit first for me, happy to uh, help out a collector. A little while ago I did a, um, a Funko bulk purchase and there was a lot of fall, Fallout stuff. And this one's not actually a Fallout figure or Funko, but uh, it is a Pixel Power, so not a huge return on it, but um, Another one back, this cost me about 80 cents. And if you've been following along, when I started the toy challenge, this was a private buy. Uh, I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen with this. I went pretty high on it, ended up accepting an offer for 120. I, I kinda regret it now. I think I'm gonna make it a goal of this toy challenge to try and get this for myself because I don't actually own that in my own collection. I only just listed these the other day. These were in that video that I did where I got the, uh, that thing, the buzzsaw, but uh, these are going 50 plus ship to the States as well. Couple of pies items going out. And this hat, this is a 90s hat. This is an older one. I did grab this a couple of weeks ago on eBay for about $30 and sold it back on eBay. Go to pies! Come on! Yeah. Come on. Boy. I'm from Maui! <laughs> this one's out of the personal collection. It is a player issue. So this was mine. I've had this for about, oh God, 12 months. Um, it was signed by Adam Trelaw and it's Jesse White. So yeah, he wasn't, wasn't hugely popular. 
I wasn't trying to make profit on this because I just wanted the pies jumper. I got it for a hundred bucks or something a while ago. It did sell for one thirty nine or one yeah one thirty nine I think so plus the ship. So uh, it's a little bit more money. I have made a big purchase uh, in the past week. So for my collection, I had to move some stuff on. That one I haven't actually sold. This is another personal. Just shout out to the legend himself and uh, another massive doggies collector. Needed a red clash here. For, um, and he asked to trade a Tory Dixon, so he's sending me another Tory Dixon, just a different design, but uh, that one's off to him, so that's not a sale. Uh, I just thought I'd show that because it's sitting there. This one a couple of months too, which surprised me, but this was a uh, a rare op shop for one. I can't remember what I paid now. It was in a video. Maybe 10 bucks or something. But anyway, that's out the door too. Still uh, trying to skew my toys properly which is stupid because i sell a lot of them but um a lot of stuff that was shelved and whatnot in the past that i'm selling now anyway sun gold galaxy warrior i've had him for a while some of these do go really well they are knockoff bootleg he-man style figures but uh some of them are super rare this one i've had him for a while he sat there uh, i don't even know how long now i've sold him a couple of times but he did go for 30 plus shit for the states Monster High, a couple of single ones I've just been flogging up. You know, 20, 30 bucks, depending on who they are. She's out for a bit, but uh, yeah, she's out the door too. A couple of comics going out. Uh, what I do, I put them in these folders and just date the folder. So I know where the comics are skewed, the random ones that aren't bundled, so then I can find them easy. But uh, that um, Sergeant Fury plus this Ninja Turtles one, there's a couple more here to show you too. More of these going out. These go really well. They cost me 50 cents each. So a little bundle. If you'd like to see more of this what sold style of video, let me know below. I can do it. I haven't done what sold for a long time. This style, heavily inspired by my good friends, Two Aussie Thrifters. I love their videos and I think they're absolutely fantastic. And I realise I love the picking side of things. I love going out hunting and I show that sort of thing. I haven't done a what sold in a long time, so I thought it's probably time I had a bit of that transparency and show what's actually going out the door. Yeah, you can jump on my eBay store and see what's sold, that's fine. But uh, I think now I probably should actually show you that sort of stuff occasionally. And I love their videos because of how open they are with their numbers and um, they've done it from day dot. So I think it's only fair that if I'm picking up these items and showing you these items, I can show what they've sold for. No majority of my following is reselling, but there's a lot that just follow purely collectors or just follow to support. And if you don't sell on eBay, just keep in mind that the number that you see that it's selling for is not the profit. I've got to take out my cost of goods. I've got to pay fees to eBay and then I've got to pay tax. So uh, those, expenses come out as well so this is not profit it's uh just what they've sold for on ebay these were 50 cents each in a bundle going out for 20 as a pair plus ship got a bit of an older dry as a bone jacket here it is fairly plain and it's still got 40 plus the shipping on it uh, it is a brand that i do still grab if cheap enough this one cost me four dollars from the church so happy with that bit of a unique one lois 50 bucks. I mean, they're going to the States. I've got a lot of offers from the States, but uh, I think the biggest factor to these is that they're uh, flares. Flares are in. Definitely worth looking out for. It's the only reason I bought these. I think I paid $5. One of my absolute favourite brands to sell is Carhartt. It goes quick. Um, this one, 50 bucks. It's quilted in there. This was a wholesale one. Uh, snow pants, I think. The 501s are... Uh, just the ones to look out for. So that's all the denim, which is actually well under. Well under what would normally go out on a Monday. In the last few weeks, not much has been getting listed, so explains it. There's been a lot going out through the week, but yeah, this weekend was actually quite slow. So what do we got? It's out of 70 sales, 18 of, 18 of them are jeans, so, um, which isn't too bad. Do a quick recap on those. Levi's, uh, mostly heavily Levi's. We've got the Wrangler, Levi's, 501s. Uh, very quick through these. You've probably seen some of them getting pulled out. 504 is another good one. I like the old 504s, some women's, um, the Dickies, the Flares, 
More Levi. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Uh, more Levi's. We got Jag Women's Bombshell. Kind of that weird and green shit. Uh, more Levi's. And more Levi's. Oh, and a Fens, which they cost me two bucks, so it's not too bad. I only got 15 for them, so probably should show those too. And then, yeah, a couple of jerseys. We've got the Cubs, hoodie, uh, a few Adidas jackets. Oh, that's a Reebok, sorry. Uh, Reebok. It's an Adidas. Fairly modern one. Um, it's just bread and butter. There's nothing crazy going out here. It's uh, the footy jumper. Got a sore taste properly. It's hard to operate. That's an old and Nike one. Uh, the old splash, I think. I oh, know it's full zip sort of splash style. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot for that because it had that shit on the back. Maybe that's why it sold. I don't know. This one, so that's a new tags job. But I only got 12 bucks for this. Koori Classic, it's sat there for ages, it's a night golf, so someone doesn't care about that, or they wanted it for that, but uh, that's just a part of wholesale, you get some dregs in there too, which is, um, yeah, it's just sat for too long, it had to go, so essentially a loss, but in the big scheme of things, you know, it's a, it is a profit, uh, we've got the Nike track jacket there, quite a few of those um, jackets, Aaron Williams shirt, we've got... Another jacket and a dries a bone and another night jacket. So yeah, quite a few bits and pieces. And the favorite one of the weekend, Chrissy is gone. She's off to the States, off to her new home. Pro I still feel like I got unders for it, but I think it all came down to that missing hair. But anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a future video because that gives us some more money for the uh, challenge. But uh, she's off, she's over, she's out. Thank you very much, Chrissy. We've got some money back. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, started a couple here. I've already sort of started getting into it. Uh, get a couple out the door. And that's where it ended up. Believe it or not, there's about 70 odd in there. A couple of combined orders. So uh, pretty happy with the results of this weekend. It's not, not huge, but uh, hey, pays the bills. But there's a bit of a show of what's going on this weekend. You know, it's not a fantastic weekend. It's okay. Uh, sort of sitting around that thousand dollars a day, so that's not too bad. Um, pretty happy with that, but I'd rather it be up. I think Wednesday, Thursday was actually a lot better than that, so I need to get that back up. Now we're getting sort of a bit more consistent again, um, getting more regular stuff up. So, uh, look, I figured I'd do one of these maybe occasionally. If you do like it, let me know below and I can do some more and show you sort of what's going on and maybe the progress over time. Uh, if you do like this week, get to see everything that went out on the weekend, uh, let me know and we'll do it again. But appreciate you being here. See you in the next one.